So I'm starting with freshly washed hair. I'll leave my wash routine up above, but I do my same wash routine. Her hair has been deep conditioned and detangled, so it's ready to get blow dried. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide her hair into four sections to make it manageable for me to blow dry. I'm using my Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist and I'm going to spritz this in her hair. What it's going to do is it's going to add moisture into her hair and it's going to prevent her hair from getting damaged from the heat. So here I am blow drying her hair on a medium heat setting. I never go above a medium heat setting. Um, so this does take a little bit of time and patience. So I'm starting from the bottom and I'm working my way up. So you want to make sure the hair is thoroughly detangled so you're not fighting with the hair while you are blow drying. So just take your time, start from the bottom, work your way up. If you notice any tangles while you're blow drying, you want to just go ahead, stop and detangle. So next I'm going to use my Taylor Beauty Everything Butter and I'm just going to work that into the section that I finished blow drying. I'm going to make sure I get every strand from root to tip and this is going to allow the moisture to penetrate her hair and I'm going to blow dry that into her hair for a couple of passes so that all the butter can penetrate through her hair and I'm going to detangle once again and I'm going to twist. So I just want to reiterate that um, I do blow dry on a medium heat setting to avoid any type of heat damage and her hair only gets blow dried about three to four times a year and during this time I'm either doing cornrows or I'm um, also clipping her ends. So now I'm just showing you guys how I detangle her hair before I start to blow dry it. Um, you want to make sure the hair is thoroughly detangled so that the blow dryer can wor work its way through the hair. And I'm just blow drying from root to tip. So I'm just showing you guys how I continue to detangle her hair, add butter, and work the blow dryer through her hair. Um, the brand of the blow dryer that I'm using is called Andis. Um, I'll leave the link to the blow dryer below. Um, I've used several blow dryers on her hair and this one I really love and it's on the lower end. So I'm just showing you a comparison of her shrinkage to her blow dried hair. So we are halfway through and what I'm spritzing on her hair now is some water um, because you don't want the hair to get dry. And I'm showing you guys that sometimes I do find some knots in her hair. So I try to detangle the knots as much as possible and whatever I can detangle I cut because sometimes just trying to comb the knot out does cause more damage. Um, so I'm just continuing to blow dry her hair from root to tip as you can see the products do not weigh her hair down at all and that's another reason why I add the butter after her hair is completely smooth so now it's time for me to dust her ends I usually do this when I blow dry dusting is different from trimming when you dust you just take off a tiny bit of the end and this really helps keep the hair healthy it helps avoid tangles when you are doing the hair and as long as your ends are healthy, the hair is going to grow and it's going to grow healthy. So I can't stress enough how important it is to keep your child's ends clipped. Um, and me and Summer did have a talk about scissors prior to her watching me cut her ends. So here are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to thumbs up and follow my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.